Alright, so my editor is loaded, and I've already created an empty cube with a player start with a light in it. It just looks like a... Just looks like this. Empty room. Cube. Very simple. And you can use whatever level you want for this. But I'm just using a cube for example purposes. Now, with this, this said, I'm going to go ahead and open up Kismet. And then I'm going to right click and go New Event. Then go GFX UI. Huh, my four cores. Oh, is that under action? Okay, never mind. My, my stuff's loaded. Alright, so GFX UI. And I'm on, no, I'm going to go level loaded. My bad. Not, not yet. We'll go level loaded. Sorry about that. Then we're going to go new action. Then we we'll go GFX UI. Then we go open GFX movie. I'm going to just go and tie uh, loaded and visible to open GFX movie. Then I'm going to go to. Oh, wait. What is it? Um. I'm going to go to movie player class, and you should see F FC GFX UI front end main menu there. Then I want to go scroll down, and I want to click take focus. Take focus without checking that makes it, uh, basically when it takes focus, that means it controls your mouse and things like that. Now I want to add another action, go cinematic mode, or toggle at the very bottom, and go toggle cinematic mode. And I'm also going to tie that to toggle cinematic mode. I should probably streamline these. And there we go. That's cool. So, and I think we need to. No, well, that should be fine. All right, cool. So, with that done, let's go ahead and hit. Sorry, it's not going to open up the movie because I didn't supply a movie. But cinematic mode should allow us to stop moving. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new variable, make player. Uh, it's default to all players. I'm gonna hook this up to the target or cinematic mode. Hit play, and now I can't move my mouse. Awesome. That's exactly what we want. All right. So now we need to have a movie for this to open. Let's go ahead and go to View Browser Windows Content Browser. There's a Content Browser. We all know the Content Browser. I'm gonna go ahead and import, and Box will pop up. I'm gonna go to Development Flash, my folder. And you'll see my main mini SWF. That's cool. Go ahead and import that. I'm going to change this to Aller Flash Test. Why not? Hit OK. And you'll see that. Ooh, you'll see that uh, there's a main menu SWF. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and save this package before I do anything with it. That way, it's not saved as an external package, but it, it's a new package. So yeah, if I, I can now use it in this content folder here. So I'm going to click this SWF movie icon. I'm going to go to open GFX movie. I'm going to click movie. And that loads it in there. So now if I hit play, you'll see our main menu. It's in there. That's pretty cool, right? And new game doesn't do anything yet. But uh, actually, it is trying to do something. But the map that I put in the flash isn't here. Right, let's go to settings. See, that's going to the settings menu. Go ahead and uh, change resolution. I want to. Right now, it's not grabbing the default resolution, but if I hit 1280 by 1024 and hit save settings, should change the resolution. So that's working pretty cool. Um, huh. Alright, so uh, now that that's working, let's go ahead and hit exit. That's also not working. So why is that not working? Well, I think that's just because we're not allowed to do... Oh yeah, we're not allowed to open. We use the open command, and I don't think we're allowed to use... We should be able to use a quick command, that's a little weird. Let me go ahead and jump my action script here. And I keep forgetting F9. Exit. Oh, I might need a break on here. I don't know, but break would be good. Now, flash the console, quit. Sounds about right. Huh. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and publish. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just launch, or click, or click browse on this front end, and it's going to come with the map list. I'm going to go ahead and open our map. I'm going to click launch. That way it launches our game, not in the editor, just through Unreal. That way we can see if everything's working. Because the editor, yeah, we can't really change maps do that. Let's load. And where's our menu? Maybe we need to actually save our map. 
Let's try saving our map. And then we'll launch it. Yeah, it's a good idea to save your map when you want to load it. It's Okay, there's our main menu. And right now you'll notice that there's no cursor. But that's because we haven't made a cursor in Flash, but we'll do that soon. So go to New Game, and if you check Console, it should say the map blah 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 does not exist. If you actually put in a map name that you have in your New Game function, then it will load up that map name. Otherwise, it's just going to do nothing and give you an error in Console saying this map does not exist. So that's working. Go ahead and click Settings. We've already been through the resolution thing. That's working. Now you go to exit, and it quits the game. So our buttons are fully working. How about that? So, the let's go ahead and get the uh, resolution function, the uh, the resolution text to actually load up dynamically. That way, it's always set to the resolution we're at when we first load it. In order to do that, we need to make a function in Action Script that oh, that Unreal Script can call. And that function is called set resolution by string and this function is already called by action script or by unreal script when it needs to update the resolution so we can go ahead and type a new array string go void and we can go settings manager dot set resolution by string basically this function exists just as a wrapper for a settings manager instance right. now when that that function is only called when Unreal Script knows to set up all our settings. If we check out uh, the code here, there's a function called setup settings that we should run. So let's go ahead and open up Flash again. And I'm going to go make another external interface call here. And I'm going to go set up settings. Doesn't take any parameters. I should do it. Now I want to go ahead and publish this because we can't really test that because that, those functions aren't going to be called within a scope form, they have to be called within Unreal. So we can go back to our content browser and go ahead and re-import this by right clicking re-import and then we can go ahead and test it. And so with our settings here, it should say something, there are 1024 by see that's the resolution we're already working. If we click save settings, it's not going to do anything because it you didn't change anything. But if we click the next resolution, see how it gets slightly bigger because that's our, it's basically pulling from the starting resolution now. So that's really cool. So, go ahead and quit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. So that's working. So, I'm going to end this video here. And in the next video, we're going to go over on how to get the menu to interface with Kismet. And how to do some fancy camera techniques to make your main menu stand out a little bit more than just an average menu on a screen. Alright, so thank you for watching and see you in the next part.